Hello and welcome to Phoenix LiDAR Systems demonstration of Spatial Explorer 6. Today we'll be going over our remote connection service. Uh, and this connection can come uh, into the rover during flight, uh, either through the rover's own internal Wi-Fi uh, network, if you are in the field nearby the rover, or uh, perhaps through a 4G connection. This 4G connection would require a 4G dongle on the rover itself in order to broadcast its signal. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, jump into our connections. So um, I open up a browser here, and this could be out in the field, uh, and this is um, optimized for mobile devices as well. So on your smartphone, you can open up your, your browser. Uh, make sure that you are connected to your rover Wi-Fi signal. You can see no internet, obviously, since it's just a little rover. Uh, and then we can go ahead and jump into our IP address for our rover, uh, 192.168.20.10. And here we will be able to jump right into our rover. And here we'll be able to see our general rover um, status, as well as uh, details about sensors, navigation, etc. Here we can see that uh, we can see our system. We can start it or shut it down. Uh, let's go ahead and start that rover. See what happens. So here, uh, once this gets ready, we'll see our uh, our uptime start ticking off, as well as shows our UTC or rather our GPS time of week, uh, temperature, voltage, etc. There we go. Now in our navigation tab, we can see our different navigation status, uh, satellites, uh, INS status, etc. And here in the sensors, we can see our two sensors on board as well. Uh, through this remote connection, we're easily able to activate or deactivate sensors and make sure that we have uh, incoming packets of data. You can see this megabytes increasing. So if you're out in the field uh, with your smartphone connected to the rover's Wi-Fi. This is a very easy way to uh, jump into the control. But on the four, if the rover is equipped with a 4G dongle, we're also able to uh, connect using a um, 4G connection. And this would be through remotecontrol.phoenixlidar.com. Here we will uh, need the license key for the system to log in. And you'll see that the remote control uh, pops up a very similar dialog, in fact exactly the same. You can see that since we're connected to the same system, the uptime is still uh, still active. Uh, we can see that our sensor is still collecting data. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this sensor, but let's go ahead and jump into Spatial Explorer. And you can see how uh, Spatial Explorer can also connect into the system through 4G. All right, and here in Spatial Explorer, we can see uh, pretty much the same situation, but in a live visual perspective. Our system monitor with satellites and everything still shows here. We have our sensors. We can activate and deactivate as we please. If we zoom in to our system, you can see their UAV shown for context. See the various components of our system. And that's the antenna up top our IMU, or our LiDAR, as well as our camera. And uh, when you have this up and running, you can also use our project window to open up a open street map view. So we have a little bit better perspective of where we are over here by Renaissance Court. Uh, that gives the uh, remote control user the ability to make sure that the field team is on, on point in the right location that your system is set up properly and uh, that you're collecting collecting data as needed. You can see the uh, GNSS points and LiDAR points being collected here. So that is the uh, remote connection service for uh, Spatial Explorer 6 from Phoenix LiDAR Systems. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and I look forward to seeing you in others. Thanks.